when the narcissist does this, it's over. The narcissist saw you as an object that exists to meet their needs. They did not see you as a separate person who they should respect. So they didn't plan or reciprocated what you were given to them. They didn't intend on there being an equal exchange. They just wanted to manipulate you into giving your love and enthusiasm to them, which they reflected back to you, which they mirrored into whatever they thought you wanted to see, but they weren't really about any of that. Which is why at some point they began to show you who they really are. They devalued you. And then they got rid of you and found someone else. But when they first targeted you, it was too good to be true. You thought they were your soulmate. Because they portrayed themselves as everything that you were looking for. Everything that you were missing. Everything that you need in your life. But it was no different to an empty box with nice packaging. It looked good on the surface. But once you opened it up, you realised there was nothing inside. But until that point, you were given everything you had to the narcissist. You invested everything you had into them. Because you thought they were going to reciprocate. You thought you were going to get something back in return. But they usually won't give you anything. And even if they do, it's going to be far less than what you give to them. Because they always have to profit at your expense. But they future fake. They promise something about your possible future. Which keeps you running on their hamster wheel trying to please them. So that maybe one day they will reward you for your efforts. Because you still have hope. You believe that one day things will be better. You believe that one day they will change. Because you believe that they love and care for you. You believe that they want to accomplish something with you. Because whenever you had doubts, they would give you breadcrumbs of hope. Because they feared that you were onto them. They feared that you were about to figure them out. But at some point, the narcissist pushes you too far. They push you over the edge. They push you to the point where you can't tolerate it anymore. And when the narcissist realizes you've had enough, it doesn't mean they're just going to let you go. They will still try to hold on to you. They will try to stay friends with you. So that they can keep you on the shelf if they need you. But if you're onto their game, you will block them. You will go no contact. And you will cut off their flying monkeys as well. Because you know that they mean you no well. When the narcissist does this, it's over. When they push you too far, 
It's a done deal. It's game over. And at some point they will push you too far. Because they know that you're strong. And they believe that you can handle anything they throw at you. Which is exactly what you've been doing for years or even decades. But at some point you get fed up of it. You realise they're not going to change. You've had enough. It's over. Which doesn't always happen. Because usually narcissists discard their victims. Once they've drained them of everything they have. Once they've lost all of their money. And they're sick or in hospital or jail. Because of something the narcissist did to them. Because by that point, the narcissist will have someone else lined up. But even in those situations, they have pushed you too far. And it's what causes many people to find my videos because they realize that they were being taken advantage of. And once you've got the awareness and the education, it's very difficult for the narcissist to gain control of you in the way that they did before. So they will just ghost you. They will end the relationship completely. Because they know you figured them out. They know you're not coming back. And when that happens, you need to put the focus back on yourself. You need to remember who you are and what you need to do. You need to set strong boundaries. You need to stop letting people walk all over you. Because they will see your kindness as a weakness that they can exploit. And you will end up doing things that you don't really want to do. And becoming a person that you don't really want to be. You get pushed in a different direction. You're led astray. But when that happens, you need to find your way back to your path to purpose. And you do that by having the awareness of who you are and where you need to be. By setting strong boundaries so that you won't be taken advantage of anymore. And then you will have more time to do what you want to do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.